Hey, my name is Sam. I'm filming this in Fort Worth, Texas. I know that there have been a lot of suicides going on in our community, and that is something that I understand. The first time that I thought about killing myself, I was in the ninth grade. It was shortly after my first encounter with another guy, and at the end of the day, I didn't think that I could live with all the shame and all the guilt that I was feeling. I was raised in a or I was part of a religious tradition that didn't look towards uh, homosexuality in the best of light. In my religious tradition, being gay was the same as being a murderer or being a rapist. It was just one of those bad sins. And so I didn't think of myself as gay. I thought of myself as straight and that my uh, feelings for men was just a sinful struggle that I had chosen not to act on. And so when I look back over high school and even college, you know, I was definitely socially awkward, to say the least. I think that I always, uh, I always presented as being somewhat more effeminate, and there were definitely uh, jokes made, there were definitely comments, especially from the guys. Um, I think more than anything, I just felt like I was living in moral isolation. I was the only gay person that I knew for years. I didn't know other gay people. And anytime gay people were spoken of, it was always in derogatory fashions. And so here I was, the only gay person that I knew, and whenever people would talk about gay people, it was always this, these ideas that are so far from what gay people actually are. And when I got into college, I actually developed a very serious drinking problem. It was one of the ways that I coped with who I was. And I became an alcoholic, and I almost died. And somehow, I managed to get sober on August the 28th of 2007, and I really, really came out about two months after that. And it was the most freeing experience I've ever had, really. In fact, when I, when I look upon it, it really was one of those paradigmatic shifts in my life. All of a sudden, I was free from that fear. I was fear from that, free from that shame, because I think that's what the closet is. It's a place of fear and it's a place of shame and for me the closet uh, was ultimately a place of death and by coming out I was choosing life but again when I look back over those first 23 years they weren't easy and you know I definitely had some good times when I was in high school I still laughed I still smiled but I think behind it all was this realization that I was different and that this feeling that, that no one in the world knew how I felt. And that was one of the reasons that you know, the thought of having to wake up every morning and go through the day sometimes was kind of an unbearable thought. But as for me now, my life is better than anything I could have ever imagined. I am happy, I am joyous, I am free. And it's funny because for 23 years, if there was one thing I could have changed about myself, it was the fact that I was gay. And now, I love being gay. I wouldn't change it for anything in the world. I think it's a, an incredible gift. And it took me a long while to realize that God didn't hate me, but that God loved me as the creative and wonderful gay person that I was created to be. Um, I'm in grad school. I'm working on my master's degree in theology at Bright Divinity School in Fort Worth, Texas. It's a really great place to be. Um, I've had great relationships with people, and I love the person that I am. And I'm free from those feelings of guilt and those feelings of shame. And you, you make it to a point uh, when you're out where you realize that all those people that may have made fun of you in high school, all those feelings that you had, the the fear of your parents finding out, the fear of people finding out what people would say about you, those things just kind of drift into the background. And you just don't think about them anymore. In fact, things are so good for me now, I seem to have forgotten how bad it was at some points in my past. But I want to talk to you. I need you to know that whatever it is you're feeling, I promise that there is somebody else in our community who has felt that way before. I don't know what you're feeling like, I don't know what those experiences are, but I think I have a pretty good idea. And just know that you are not alone. Even if you are the only gay person that you know in your town, I promise you are not alone. We have been there. There are thousands of us all over America. And I do not know you, I have never met you, but I love you. With my whole heart, I love you. And if at the end of the day that is all you have that you can hang on to, baby, I want you to grab a hold of it and you keep that because I promise that your life is gonna be better than anything that you can imagine. 
I know what it's like sitting there watching these YouTube videos hoping that your parents don't walk in and find you out. I know that some of you that are watching are still in the closet. Some of you are out. Y'all all have many different experiences. But do not make that ultimate choice. Keep fighting and you hang in there and I promise that you are beautiful. You are a great person. I love you and it is going to get so much better. Take care of yourself.